Hey you guys, before I got into the video, I just wanted to talk briefly about my new ebook, Zodiac Signs Sex Language. Whether you're looking to improve your sex life and your dating life, or if you're just looking to expand your knowledge about astrology, this is definitely the right book for you. This book is meant to help you improve your sex life, your, your dating life, and your love life, your relationships, and to spice it up in the bedroom if need be, um, or to just once again, you know, help you learn more about astrology. So if you're interested in any of these things, if you're interested in learning in learning about the different love languages and the different sex languages of the zodiac signs, definitely look into getting this book, Zodiac Signs Sex Language, written by me, edited by me, and designed by me, Lamar Townsend. So you can purchase this uh, ebook on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com, or you can purchase it on Amazon, on the Amazon Kindle ebook store, all right, or just amazon.com. All right, into the video we go. Thank you for listening and watching. The Zodiac Signs and Memory So you know the saying, they may not always remember what you say, but they'll always remember what you do, or they may not always remember what you do, but they'll always remember what you say. It's kind of true, and it can kind of actually ring true to the Zodiac Signs. We can apply that to the Zodiac Signs. But there are certain ways that the Zodiac Signs remember things, you know, um, for example, the water signs tend to um, attach memory with an emotion. So they tend to be very emotional. They tend to have a very emotional kind of memory, all right? Um, they may not remember what you say. Um, they may not even remember exactly what you did, but they'll always remember what how they felt. Um, you know, they'll always remember what you made them feel, all right? Um, you know, the... Earth signs, for example, are very practical. They're very practical people. They have a very practical memory, all right? So these are the types of people who may not always remember what you say, all right? I'm a Capricorn. They may not always remember what you say, all right? You know, um, they but they remember the important things, okay? They remember, you know, the things that stick out to them the most, all right? Um, more importantly, though, what you say, they remember what you do, all right? Remember, these are doers. These are practical people. So they, they may not even remember what you say at all, but they'll probably remember what, what you did, all right? Um, you know, it, it's it's what you do with the earth signs that they remember the most. Like, you know, um, what you did, what you were doing when you said something, what you were doing um when they found out something, you know, like, it's always a doing, you know, like, um, they are easily able to recall practical things, you know, um, practical memories, all right, um, that, that makes sense, that are worth actually keeping and storing in their memory, because remember, these are the types of people who are very practical, if I don't really need it, then I'm not going to rem remember it, if I don't really need it, then, you know, I don't really care, so, all right, but fire signs, now the fire signs are interesting, because they are feelers and doers, so they're a little bit of a mix between earth and water, and maybe even air as well, so they, um, have a very vivid memory for the most part. They um, typically will remember, you know, they may remember things you say, they will remember things you do, but most importantly, they will remember what you said and did when you were in a moment of passion, when you were in a moment of heat, because to a fire sign, that is your most truthful moment. The, the fire signs are very passionate people, very fiery people. They're emotional, but in a different way than the w uh, the water signs. I was about to say earth, but they um they the fire signs are more emotional. Um, they're not more emotional. They're they're emotional, but in a different way than the water signs. Sometimes they can be more emotional, but they express their emotion in a different way. So because, whereas the water signs are tend, they tend to keep their emotions to themselves, the fire signs express emotion. So to a fire sign, you know, in a moment of, of fiery passion, uh, you know, um, excitement, you know, anger, um, passion, you know, the heat of the moment, 
that's typically a moment of truth for a fire sign. So when they're exchanging, you know, conversation, information, whatever, um, and that moment happens, you know, they're going to remember that moment. And they're going to remember what you said in that moment, what you did in that moment, you know, your body language, how you reacted, the look in your eyes. They have a very, very vivid memory, all right? Especially during moments of, of passion, of fiery expression. So lastly, let's get into the... Um, air signs now the air signs are very very interesting because these are the communicators these are the thinkers of the the zodiac not saying that the other signs aren't thinkers but these are the people who think constantly communicate whether internally or externally constantly this is their mode of expression so naturally the air signs are always going to remember what you said what you say all right they may not remember exactly what you did but they'll definitely remember what you said um they'll remember you know what um where you know the, the conversation where your head was at where where you you know where their head was at where your head was at you know the the circumstances of the conversation itself you know what led up to that conversation like they're gonna remember really you know minute details like that like well well it led up to this you know um you know and then this ha like they're gonna remember everything and then they said this you know and i felt like you know they said this but really they were thinking this you know because their body language remember like air signs you know are able to recover details when details of communication so things you've told them but also they're really good at body language and studying people so you know they're going to remember what you said the tone of voice you said it in you know when you slapped your neck when you said it when your hand was on your hip you know when your eyes lit up like you were angry like they're going to remember everything about that of about that conversation that you had how they felt during the conversation um what they said they'll remember that too so you know these are how the different zodiac signs, the different elements, the uh, remember things. You know, um, you know they each have a different way of of going about um, storing certain memories, storing certain information. Um, so, I just thought that would be really interesting. So, to talk about um, the zodiac signs and memory, how the zodiac signs uh, recall things, how the zodiac signs remember things. You know, how the zodiac signs. Um, you know remember things and recall things yeah so if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe share with your friends and family please and uh thank you for listening and watching please check out the rest of my videos and check out my website lamar towns and tarot where you can purchase your own personal reading i do tarot readings i do um bunch of different types of tarot readings i just started doing monthly horoscope readings so if you would like your monthly horoscope read definitely check that out i do 20 minute horoscope readings for 20 dollars on my website lamartownsandtarot.com i also do messages from your spirit guides birth chart readings and more so check all of that out on my website lamartownsandtarot.com i appreciate you for watching i appreciate you for choosing me until next time now must stay love and light Hey guys, thank you for listening and watching. Please hit the like button, share with your friends and your family, and also please subscribe, of course. And if you're interested in my ebook, check out my ebook, purchase it on my website or on Amazon. I would also love it if you would follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, thank you guys for listening and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video, alright?